Hello, we're back with yet more Battletech. We continue to prop up St. Ives uh, as best we can. There's something of a limit to how much support we can grant them, but we're doing our best, and that's really all we can do. So, now, let's do the things... Okay. What do we got? Oh, that's right. We're in the midst of a contract. We're raiding some Federated Suns planet on behalf of St. Ives, keeping them afloat, we hope. So I don't think we actually took any damage in the last mission. Doesn't look like it. It looks like we came through the last mission relatively unscathed. Someday we'll get vehicles. And on that day, we will be happy. One of those Maxim, like, hover APCs would be real nice. We would enjoy, actually, a couple of those. Uh, Alright, so we've got a pretty cool selection of mechs here. 50s. Okay, let's do 40 tons. Sorry, my sort of oh no there's a 55 ton mech up here crap okay um my sort of pathological need for things to be in order is kicking in hopefully someone out there understands they're not judging me for it just a, a button that you push that says order by tonnage would be so nice okay anyway that's unimportant we were mostly just trying to make sure that Nothing needed to be repaired before we carried on with our attempts to save St. Ives. Uh, let's advance a few days. Okay, let's do this. Uh, battle mission. Sweet. Battles are easy enough. And we pay our bills in the meantime. That's cool. Okay, what do we got? Another... Wow, that really, really messed with the AI pretty, or the AI, the UI pretty badly. Um, like I should not have access to the timeline or the store or the hiring hall or any of this from the screen with contract negotiations. ruh -ro. Anyway, that will all cease to matter in just a moment. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the Chaos Feather, the Cheese Puff, Kit Fox Dadler, Wraith, and a Lynx. That's right, we actually like the Lynx. Okay, I really wish that we could make these into mech slots, but alas, we cannot. Royal Kintaro. And the Conjurer. So the Dervish, we didn't really like, even though we upgraded it to... Oh... If we take this thing apart, because we really didn't enjoy it very much, uh, we get Streak SRM6 back. The clan versions. Is there two of them? Or just one Streak SRM6? It looks like just one. Either way, that's the sort of thing that goes on to the Fire Moth that we keep losing, uh, and that I would not mind having back. I bet we could make this Griffin better, too, if we bothered to go into the mech lab we should probably put the phantom away uh okay the swordsman that's right we did some work on the swordsman okay uh, cougar prime is probably actually not that bad and i don't know why we're not running it Mistlinx has been out of style for a hot minute, and we should probably pull it down as well when we get the chance. Okay, Achilles, Achilles, Gnomes, Elementals, that seems fine. All right, let's do this. I don't think I was going to change our loadout, so I don't know why I spent that much time going through it all, but it'll be fine.
All right, well, hopefully four skulls is not actually beyond us. I don't actually think that it is. But I guess there's a the theoretical possibility that the last mission we did was just a fluke and that somehow we shouldn't have won. Okay, here we go, finally. Command interface initiated. Okay, roll up and obliterate. Oh, we're fighting mercenaries though. What do we got? So that's a longbow. That's a Templar. What do we got here? I don't know. That might be a Zeus. And that I'm unfamiliar with. It's goofy. Oh, it's the, the bad inner sphere version of um, a timber wolf. Okay. All right, so we're gonna reserve a bunch at the beginning, like we always do. We got 60 tons, 75, 80, 85, 75, 75, and the Templar seems to have disappeared. ECM maybe? I guess we'll find out. Uh, and there's another support like, oh, hey, look, they have a Jaeger mech that can see us. That's not ideal. Uh -huh. I don't need them taking shots at us. I can't see anything. I don't think anyone took damage. But that giant pile of status updates is tough to read through. Holding for tactical advantage. Okay, so the enemy does not have a whole lot in terms of light ish mechs. Oh, an Ostrock. That's heavy, I believe. And once again, they don't like the gnomes. At least the gnomes do a pretty good job of drawing fire. Okay, well, whatever that was, triple PPCs from somewhere off screen. Hmm. Oh, I hate these guys. Hopefully we don't take too much of a beating when we drop down the initiative list. Oh, the elementals have taken a bit of a beating. I guess they ate that slug from the rifleman as opposed to the golem that it was aiming at. A penetrator? The heck? Oh, well, that's not good. I mean, I guess I agree with them, but the elementals are probably dangerous. This guy has battle fatigue, huh? Hmm. I've never seen this before, though. What a bizarre looking mech. Has a very bulbous head. Holding action, Commander. All right. Well, let's see what else they've got. Eighty-five tons. Um. I took a hit to my inner weapon. Done broke. Uh. Okay. That's not great. I mean, I appreciate that the battle armor is soaking up all of the damage for us, but 
it is not ideal that they are actually doing damage to us. Ooh, I think the Lynx just took that hit. Are you? What? Who's taking internal damage? Okay, that must be a piercing Gauss rifle. Which, ugh, rude. If we find that, we're taking it home. Um, do they have any? No, they don't. They're done. Okay. Commander. Let's put the gnomes on the Daddler. Let's put the Achilles. Yep. On the Fire Moth. And while we're at it, let's sensor lock. Let's see, this guy does not have anything that's going to remove or prevent the reduction of evasion based on sensor locking. Okay, so we're down one of our friendly elementals. Can we get them onto... I guess they can't reach the kit fox. We can reach the wraith. Um, it is turning out, I think... Ooh. What's up, boss? If we just, uh, if we move there, that's too far. I do wish that we could get these elementals onto something. Uh, copy. That isn't the wraith. Okay, well, apparently we can get these guys onto the kit fox. So we're going to do that. Sprinting. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. And then we can put the elementals onto the wraith which will at least make them slightly more survivable in the very near future Commander? all right so we are going to get the heck out of the water i'm kind of tempted to just run the fire moth over here shoot this dude in the back drop off the battle armor and swarm him and then send the rest of our team this way um, or we could send the wraith with the elementals good to go the wraith actually maybe can't get close enough Ooh, the wraith can jump pretty far though Nine evasion does make him really tough to deal with, but also puts us in melee range. Hmm. Sprinting only gets us seven evasion, jumping gets us nine. Lifting off. All right, let's, oh, we've still got two friends over here. 80 ton vehicle. I would say the Rakshasa. That's the bad inner sphere knockoff of a timber wolf that we saw. Orion AC 10. The Templar with three rotary AC 2s. Okay. And ECM. C3 jamming. Okay, it's got a C3 system. Hmm. I think this is the thing that had the piercing gauss rifle unless it was the rifleman it is not this is a pretty nasty pile of machines for us to be up against not gonna lie can we shoot anybody with reasonable numbers we have better numbers on this rifleman than we do the guy right next to us <laughs> sure all right, we're still going to shoot the, the Ostrock. We would like it to go away. The Ostrock is going to be where we focus the majority of our efforts. Hey there. 
that's fun that going up onto the bank and then across is actually better. Let's see here, 56s versus 63s if we stand in the water and we heat, sink additional heat. Okay, that's what we're doing. Even if I do wish that we had cover, we'll be okay. Hmm. That's what we would really like to do. Well, yeah, you can't get over here. Never mind. I was going to say we could run up here and take the high ground, but no, there is no high ground to take over there. What we can do is take this fight over here and try to string them out and use our enhanced Wait, mobility to really get them. The Kit Fox also runs pretty hot, so staying in the water, at least for the moment, not so bad. On it. Internal damage to a lake? That's not bad. Not bad at all. We're getting there. Six evasion. Full speed. No target. We would really like to be largely invisible to them. So if we can take this Ostrock down, I'm here. that would be ideal. Alternatively, do we do this? Do we swarm the Jaeger mech next round and hope for the best? I think we do. Jaeger mechs are pretty lightly armored. We should be able to run up behind him and really make him regret most of his decisions because he's got very little armor in the rear. And he has an XL engine. So Gauss ammo doesn't explode, but he does have case. So no Gauss, oh, we would have to explode the actual Gauss rifles themselves. Or we could just, you know, crit him in the back. If we blow up his engine, then he probably will not have a good time. Hmm. How do we do this in a way that keeps us from getting just totally obliterated? The Lynx is... I wish it had better shots. I wish the Lynx pilot gave shooting more priority. I wish you were better at it. Okay, he's panicked. If he bails out, that would be extremely yep. helpful. Kintaro. Man, those numbers are not very good. Possibly because of the narc launcher, we should have used the Kintaro a long time ago in the initiative order. How'd that taste? Okay, he's panicked. Receiving you. Please continue panicking. 92s and 43s, huh? 92s and 56s, that's better. Throttle down. On it. Reporting. Critical hit. Okay, it is now our turn, and we have several people who get to go Waiting for my opening. before. Awaiting orders. Uh, let's turn on all, whoop. all of these, and let's swarm this dude. Hopefully we get the rear. I guess it's random whether or not you shoot the front or or back of a of a mech. I went and asked and it looks like we're shooting the front. Of course we are. I'm receiving 
receiving you. So we're going to push Girasol all the way down to initiative one. She can hang out with seven evasion and probably be mostly okay. I expect that the Jaeger mech will not turn around and melee her because what can I do for you? he has some battle armor to deal with. Mm, we want to keep the gnomes available for Commander. the moment. And the elementals. Okay, what do we got? Waiting for orders. Step one, cheese puff. Six evasion, shoot him in the side. It. Keep chili in the water. How many times is this guy going to trigger panicked before he bails out? Receiving you. This guy is surprisingly willing to take a bunch of fire. Alright, let's keep shooting him a lot. Are you going to bail out yet? No, he is not going to bail out yet. Five evasion. Kit Fox shoots him a lot. Oh, that's probably the end. Yes, that's the end of him. Might be some good salvage there. Never even got the chance to eject. What Rip the fuck? that guy. Uh, we would like. Oh, if we go there, we can see whatever the heck that is. Um, five evasion in the woods lets us shoot. Oh, the Orion with pretty good numbers. No shooting, just running. Let's see what we can get going on here. Okay. Our plan so far seems to be working. We will tentatively say that we're doing okay-ish. We managed to kill the Ostrock. We are going to try to drag these guys out. Who knows what's going to happen with this Jaeger mech. Nine evasion. Can we get reasonable ish shots on really just the Orion? That's okay. We don't mind. We just want them to not really be able to see us very well. I've been sent luck. Oh, well, I guess that is an option for them. Shoot. <laughs> Whoops. What do you need? That'll teach me. Like, of course, we'll just kite them. They won't be able to see us unless they sensor lock us. Whoops. Got pretty good shots on the rifleman. I guess let's get started on that guy. Unfortunately, the Kintaro is kind of slow compared to the rest of our crew. But this should okay. be okay. I'm on it. Oh, he has an... Or at least his friend has an AMS system. Does he have AMS? No. Is this thing just jammed or is it destroyed? It's just jammed. Those will come back. Standing by. Dang. It's brutal. The penetrator. <laughs> oh, 
want six evasion and the ability to shoot something with reasonable numbers. All right, let's keep working on the Orion. We'll see if we can... If we blew a leg off, that would be, like, completely perfect. It does not look like that's going to happen. A Marauder. Okay. Well then. That's kind of big. Oh. Okay, well this guy successfully removed the Achilles. That's kind of less ideal. They're probably going to aim at the Achilles a lot. They don't like battle armor usually. Hopefully we manage to get our battle armor out of there relatively unscathed. All right, that's not too bad. What was that? Oh, that... Wait. They have two penetrators? Or did I just miss? No, they must have two. Oh. Well, it has rotary AC2 unjammed. Hmm. I can't take much more. You'll be all right. Okay, that's really not ideal. That got me. Weapon systems down. What the hell is that thing? That's nasty. Holy cow. Is that like a Shiltron of some type? Uh okay, so let's waiting for orders. There's no one left on the enemy team. Let's just shoot this guy in the back, because why not? All right. Get him. Got him. Sweet. Looks like I need a new target. Three salvageable parts is acceptable. Standing by. Tractor is the the gnomes. Uh, we will leave them for now. Roger that. Digging in. You're also gonna hang out for now. Waiting on you, Commander. As are you. Sounds smart. Cooling. Okay. She doesn't go until next round. Sort of suboptimal that we lost one, but given the volume of fire coming their way, I'm not surprised. A uh, copy. Hold for initiative one. Good to go. Hold for initiative one. Yeah. And hold. Reporting. You have successfully destroyed homeboy. Please climb onto that burn damage. Landmines. Oh, okay, so they do actually explode landmines when they're standing by. We're going to make a run for it with the Fire Moth, because that's what it does best. Oh, nope. That goes through minefields. Alright, let's just accept that we're not really going to get any shots off this turn. And we'll just use the Fire Moth for what it does best. In this instance, ferrying battle armor around. Marauder has no ECM. Skill penalty. Oh, well then. Oh, I forgot that, okay, that Gerasol ignores minefields. Whoops. All right, well, 
it'll be all right. Okay, so one evasion, one evasion, one evasion, two evasion. Let's sensor lock. God, I want to know what that thing is. That's a piece of work machine right there. Kind of a nightmare to deal with. 75 tons. That's the Orion that we've been working on. I've got a sensor lock. So I see no reason to not continue working on that Orion. Okay, we could shoot the Marauder. We could shoot the Orion in the back. Oh, that's like perfect. That is exactly what we want to see. Also, the cheese puff has a pair of ER PPCs, so this is not like we're just gonna tickle him. He's gonna feel this. What did we get? Oh, well, we opened up the rear center torso, and it looks like his left leg is nearly gone. Good to go. Oh, if we go here. We can see what that stupid tank is. I don't know that we want to. Only four evasion if we go here. What's this? We still get to shoot the Orion? Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna come hide in the woods over here. Shoot the Orion a bunch. Yeah. Hey, auto cannon is done. Need something, Chief? Okay, we may need to, with the Daddler, come shoot a heavy hybrid carrier. What the heck is this thing? All right, deadly. Deadly is what that thing is. We need it to go. That thing is really cool. I would not mind taking one home. But as far as things against us on the battlefield go, that's going to cause some problems if we leave it around. Okay, the Lynx is a little heavier and can probably deal with a little bit more damage? Question mark. Still, let's... Um... Oh, she's got target prediction. She doesn't have whatever the shielded stance. All right, let's keep going on this Orion. Okay. Unsteady and panicked. Come on, eject. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. Ready for orders. Under the circumstances, please don't taunt the bad guys. We jump over here with nine evasion. We will likely not be hit by anything. Also, the Wraith has more armor than most of our other stuff. So do we take a shot at the Orion and just acknowledge that it's there or do we take the same shots oh slightly better shots because we actually get the medium laser in play at this hybrid carrier this thing is kind of scary let's shoot this um okay we missed with the heavy medium laser but this thing is pretty darn close to dead If we can actually get shots off at it, four evasion plus cover, or just four evasion. Gee, I wonder which one we would like. All right, let's kill this thing. I don't want the narc launcher though. Okay, good. Not salvageable, ugh, boo. I would love to salvage one of those things. That looks, Ready for orders. frankly, kind of nasty.
Uh, let's see if we can go get seven evasion. Yes. And still shoot the Orion in the back. We'll finish off a project we started working on. There we go. Mech destroyed. All right, good deal. The Orion is done. Wow, lots of reserving. I guess they want the Templar to go. Okay, that's not so bad. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but for that volume of fire, I'm glad to see that we did not just you know, lose a limb off of a kit fox because Taking that is a damage. real possibility there. There's that bad timber wolf knockoff. That is exactly what we want to see. It's the adversary missing a bunch. <laughs> ah, no, no bad, bad. I lost a weapon. How is that a thing? God, that fire moth has lost a limb so many times. Yeah, we really... Hold on. Need to see... What did we lose? The lasers this time. All right, well, at least we didn't lose the LRMs. But we're down a bunch of weaponry. Waiting for orders. Uh, where are you? Right here? No, you're not doing anything this round. Resting my neck. You are also not doing anything this round. Nor are you. Yeah, no. Commander. It did not take. Okay, there we go. All right. I think we want to use our battle armor before we get into initiative space one. Because they're not leaving us with very much opportunity. Yes, Commander. Uh, despite having seven evasion, we got lit up last time. Let's run up here. Yes, this keeps the battle armor out of play for the turn, but hopefully also keeps the fire moth from getting obliterated. Oh. That guy has AMS. Huh. I guess it's um, it either jammed or it has blown its metaphorical, perhaps literal, load. Uh, yeah. So they can only fire so many rounds a turn. Commander? Okay, let's get the cheese puff into the side arc of this marauder. Because that's what we're really after. What are your active abilities? You have a sensor lock. Okay. If we could get this guy taken care of before he acts Good again, stuff. that would be pretty much ideal. Six evasion. Still get pretty good numbers. What do you have for abilities? Seemingly nothing. What do we have here? Oh, perfect targeting. That's right. That's right. We took perfect targeting, which is why these numbers are all super good all the time. Oh, sweet. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We are making progress. 
Slowly but surely, the adversary is becoming less numerous. 63% on a penetrator, or 69%, nice, on a longbow. Or we could get a little closer and get much better shots with the understanding that the Daddler is kind of fragile. That's maybe not a great idea. This could be... Ooh, grouping up like this is a good way for us to get stray shotted, like, into the dirt. We could run back over here. I feel like that opens us up to a lot more fire. Alright, let's do... this. Double time, let's go! And if we have a sufficient amount we do, we can precise strike. Maybe we should take the leg off of the penetrator. If we are able to do so. Does it have an XL engine or a standard? It has a standard engine. Oh, it's out of ammo for its AMS system. Oh. Interesting. All right, well, we're gonna try to shoot it in the leg. Whoa, that did not destroy the leg outright. Hold on a second. It has four structure left in the leg. Oh, it has jump jets? What the heck kind of a machine is this thing? Penetrator 6S, Penetrator 6T. This one just has ERs for everything. It says ER larges, but medium pulse lasers. Do they both have jets? They both have jets. How strange. Receiving you. Okay, we're gonna hope if we alpha strike that we tag that leg just once. It would be really convenient for us. Just like that, perfect. Bonk. That is ideal. Okay, and the battle armor we're still gonna reserve. There's that rifleman again. That's not so bad. The lynx is pretty big for our team, so it can take a little bit of fire. So the gnomes could pop out and shoot the penetrator while it's on the ground. But then they get shot a bunch. That's the problem with using the mid initiative. What's up, boss? Nine evasion. I just don't want to get kicked by somebody and then lose all of our evasion and thus all of our protection. However, oh no, most of them haven't moved actually. The rifleman has though. We could just jump right over here, <laughs> shoot the rifleman, hope they don't like get close enough to melee us. And then swarm the rifleman? I don't think that's a very good idea. I think this is a better idea. Up high. We'll do our best. I'm going to see if I can get this guy. Oh, he's going to stand back up. And that will probably make his life sort of miserable. He's in initiative space two. All right, we should be able to get him. Let's shoot the rifleman. We're maybe gonna have to rethink the heavy medium laser. It's a lot of damage, but we seemingly never land it. What do you need? 
Does that rock give us? Yeah, it'll give us partial cover. It will occlude Going full throttle. shots on the Kentaro, which is good because it's probably going to take a few shots this turn. All right, yeah, let's try to take this guy's 0% chance to hit his other leg. Excuse me? That doesn't feel real at all. Let's just tap him in the head if we can. Random head taps have a tendency to freak people out, right? Hey, there we go. We got a random head tap. He is not panicked. He's unsettled. Oh, he has ECM. Huh. I wonder why we couldn't shoot his other leg. Receiving you. That feels very strange. This is fine. The Wolverine will be okay under the circumstances. Do we shoot the Rifleman or the Penetrator? See, it says 8.2%, but then when we mouse over it, it goes to 80, which is some garbage right there. All right, we've opened up the center torso. He is now stressed, which I appreciate. Okay. So we want the adversary here to go. That's not bad at all. Okay, so the Rakshasa is there. Scoundrel. We're going to brace. And that will get the adversary's other guy to go. I hate these guys. <laughs> Me too. Okay, that's fine. There's only four adversaries left to go, although they are pretty beefy adversaries. It's a little risky. But I think seven fifty three. What? Why are these numbers so bad? Sixty one, seventy three, and seventy eight. This is unusual. Usually, these guys have much much better shots. All right. Well, let's. I guess we could shoot the Rakshasa. Or we could wait for the penetrator to stand up. All right, well, they already fell off onto the ground, so. Man, that dramatically changes the numbers, too, going into the woods like that. 78s and. Okay. Let's turn on all of the guns. Let's try to shoot this guy in the center torso while he's still down and targetable. Oh, okay then. Little bit of overkill, but still counts. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, you're in the kit fox. And just in case somebody somehow gets close to them. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, the Templar. Hmm. Yeah, the gnomes are going to get... Lit up a little bit. That's okay. What is that thing? A Fury Command Tank. It does have a piercing Gauss Rifle, but 
it looks like it's out of ammo for it, which is funny. Is it out of ammo? Thunderbolt 15s. It's got ammo for a weapon it doesn't have. And it's piercing Gauss rifle is down. Okay, we are not going to care about this thing at all. It cannot harm us. Affirmative. All right. And you can brace. Good to go. Okay, so you are on the kit fox. Okay, do we risk the K the Chaos Feather slash Fire Moth in order to swarm one of these mechs? I'm here. I mean, in theory, this amount of evasion should be nearly insurmountable for the adversary. Nearly. And should be. Both of these are famous last words terms. But let's give it a try. All right. We'll try to swarm the Templar if we're close, or no, the Longbow if we're close enough to it, which we should be. And we'll shoot the Rifleman in the back. Yeah, it seems like a fine tactic. Critical hit, Commander. I too would be unsettled. All right, so Scoundrel is... a little bit reduced in efficacy. 85% should still be okay. Failure? Well, that's not ideal. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> that's... What are the chances? About, about 15%, but... We can we do we know the math. However, still doesn't make it good that that happened. Five evasion and in the woods. Riflemen, we have really good shots on. And this thing is running like basically heat neutral right now, which is really nice. Kit Fox, on the other hand, is not running heat neutral. Let's come up here and shoot. Can we get to seven? No, we can't actually get to seven evasion on this machine. That's right. Because the pilot does not have the necessary abilities. Okay. We can shoot this guy a bunch, though. Firing a full salvo. Okay, can we get somewhere with line? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Step one. I forgot about the gnomes. Step Ready one. Put the gnomes back on the daddler. Going full throttle. Okay, there we go. Now that we're not being bad at it. Receiving you. It would be really nice to get high ground but there's very few places up here that actually have shots that we can take on the adversary. Those are pretty good. And does put us up nice and high, which is probably why the numbers are really good. What is occluding this? Possibly the Kit Fox. Links. Six evasion, shoot the rifleman in the face a bunch. I think so. I think that's what we do here. Bomb. 
destroy a leg. Oink. Oh, he's bleeding out now. <laughs> All right. That worked out pretty well for us. Let's reserve action on the battle armors. Here's this guy standing back up. He's now minus one leg. And his shots suck. Hey, there we go. The first one of the evening. Our first coward. I mean, it was probably intelligent of him to do that. But I'm still going to make fun of him. Okay, what we can do here, and this is really funny, is drop in, shoot the Templar in the back a bunch. I think, yeah, I think we shoot the Templar in the back. Confirmed. With the Wraith. Confirmed. Hey, we actually landed the, lar the medium laser. Nice. Uh, and where are those elementals? Commander. I think we immediately take the elementals and try to swarm the longbow. Wow, they have an 80% chance compared to 85% chance. What are the chances, though, that we will fail twice in a row? Maximum speed. Ah, oh, we got them. Sweet. So the longbow is now swarmed. What can I do for you? Uh, the Achilles up here is not likely to get into action, but standing by. Let's not immediately discount any of that. Okay, so we can walk up to this stuff, which means we can kick the Rakshasa, which is awesome, especially because we can get into the side arc. That will make its life really miserable. Understood. Faded Hurricane, hello. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. We are doing all right with our lights and mediums only run. We are currently taking on a four skull contract and we seem to be doing all fairly well. So I'm pretty pleased with the way this is working out. Confirmed. It's been good. I mean, gameplay wise, yeah, we're doing, we're in a pretty good spot now. We've got a pretty solid stable of mechs. We punch way above our weight class because clan tech. Um, and we are trying to keep St. Ives alive, which I know is very strange, but you know, what can you do? The fact that they exist at all right now in the timeline is basically totally random. Um, oh, that's that's not ideal. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. And the Templar still has to go. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, please. Oh... All right, well, that's not awful. I'm losing armor bad. I was kind of expecting the Templar to unload into the Lynx, which would have been a real problem. Or possibly even... Oh, okay, well, the longbow just fell over. I love that. And here's the Fury Command tank that does nothing. Okay, we should be all right. Mount slash swarm. Okay, so the longbow managed to... Oh, this is the Achilles. We never actually managed to successfully swarm. That's right. But we can try to swarm the Templar. Go, go, go. There we go. Okay, so the Templar is now tied up. Also, we've been abusing battle armor very heavily. 
in order to make this work. Are you still swarming? Still in the act of swarming? I wish it was not so hard to scroll down this list. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, they are still swarming. So let's continue swarming. Okay, that's the end of the longbow. That right there is revenge. I hear ya. Uh, let's hold on you. I'm here. And reserve you. Standing by. The fire moth. What do we do with the fire moth? What's the Rakshasa got? An open torso, huh? And very little armor on its rear section. Seems to me like it really wants to just get shot in the back. Precise strike. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, it's the still the golems. And we want the golems to wait until after the Daddler can move. Oh, this is basically ideal. We can shoot either the Rakshasa or the Silly Fury command tank. Let's shoot oops, the Silly Fury command tank. Oh, or we could shoot the Penetrator. That's much better. Let's shoot the Penetrator. Can we precise strike? We sure can. 10% chance to hit the head? Sure, let's give it a try. It does not look like we got it. However, we did just open up the center torso on this thing. Oh, and it's out of AMS ammo. That's neat. Let's grab the gnomes and drop the gnomes right here. And we can go to work on this tank. Goofy Fury Command tank thing. All My flamer is empty. Okay. I'm here. The cheese puff. Come shoot the Rakshasa in the back. Yeah, that seems fine. Definitely don't let people into your rear arc. It's bad for you. We just barely can't get into the rear arc. Dang. Okay, so you're swarmed. You have no weapons. You are the current target of most of our anger. Yeah, let's not overheat terribly. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I guess it had an XL engine and lost a side torso. Okay, so the only thing left really is this penetrator. Well, I guess the Templar, but it's being swarmed. Can't run. It has jump jets, which I forget about regularly. It's the left arm that's injured, so let's put it over there. And let's shoot this thing a bunch. Kind of hoping that we would see... Uh, some kind of shot to the center torso, but it's okay that we didn't.
8 evasion. Oh, jumping into the water gets us... Bonus heat sinking, which we like. Ugh, still no center torso tap. It would be really nice to have that happen. I'm here. The Kintaro might actually be able to make it happen. Going full throttle. All weapons fine. Alright, well, we got a couple of small taps in on the center torso, but none of the big hits that I was really hoping for. Looks like we did about 10 damage. Ready for orders. Which is not no damage, notably. Seven evasion, lets us shoot everything. I guess we have to kill this stupid tank at some point. We'll get there in a minute. Okay, that looks like... Okay. How... Oh. Okay, so the battle armor is not having a great time at the moment. So we should probably find something to do that involves getting them out of the way. Uh, can you... I forget that these guys have jump jets. That's so nice. So let's jump them over here. We'll shoot, I guess, the tank? Copy that. Or the Templar. I guess we shoot the Templar. Because it's still kind of scary. Reporting. We could... Uh, oh wow, we have only a single suit left. Um, yeah, get on the wraith. Affirmative. There is no reason for you to chill out. <laughs> wow. Okay, the elementals are... No, that... Yeah, the elementals are nearly dead. This Achilles squad is only slightly better. I guess it's not her turn yet. Okay. I hear ya. Okay. Now, where's the fire moth? It's all the way over there. And we wouldn't be able to get on that mech. I, anyway, 80% chance to swarm, but I don't want to. Let's I'm hold on you. a second. Full All right, we'll get the fire moth over here. We'll put them on the fire moth. Hopefully I didn't just park it out of range. That would be really unfortunate. Okay. We're getting somewhere on that thing. Okay. Please climb on to the fire moth. Yes. Um... I guess a sensor lock the penetrator? I've got a sensor lock. Not a hundred percent sure why we're doing that, but we have the ability, so why not use it? Alright, we're gonna hope that we can kill the Templar before it runs up and melees us. Hmm. Sadly, we have no... Roger that, going to full throttle. No precision strike with the Dattler. Affirmative. Okay, is that... Sweet, we got a leg. Fantastic. Oh, sweet. The pilot is bleeding out. Commander. Going 
going full speed. Okay, do we try to kill the Templar even harder? Knowing that he can now barely move. Or do we try to kill this thing? I think we try to kill this thing. Okay, sweet. Good, that gets him out of our hair. He had a lot of lasers. I did not appreciate all of them being pointed at us. Receiving you. The Lynx still can't run. She's still unsteadied. Weird, but okay. One evasion is not very much evasion, but... Hopefully we can kill that command tank soon enough. Uh, we can actually melee the command tank. What side is this? That is the right hand side. Let's kick it. Putting my weight into it. It looks like we're just kicking the corpse of the longbow. Which is really pretty funny. But it's not actually true. Aye, aye. Okay, so let's just run up and kick this thing again. Roger. And shoot it with all of the things. Okay, well, we're through the structure, even if it hasn't died. Standing by. Where are we through the structure? On the side. So if we just run down here and shoot it. Hopefully, it will explode. Just like that. Tango is trash. Ooh, three salvageable parts. It's probably too heavy for our purposes. Okay, so the Templar is up. He's gonna move a single... Take a bunch of shots into the gnomes. Because, boy, do they hate battle armor. And then he's going to shut down because he failed his override. Wow. Waiting for orders. We could choose to swarm him, but we're not going to. We're just going to come over here. And shoot him. Probably just gonna aim. Well, let's aim for the head. It's fun. There we go. Those LBX auto cannons will help us fish for head taps. He's already bleeding out, I believe. So he's in shock. Yeah, he has two activations remaining. So if we just jump over here and get into the side arc, aim for the head, because why not? It's funny. Yeah, you're not going to do anything. Let's just shoot him some more. Aim for the head again. No head taps. Oh, he panicked. Excellent. Another coward. Okay, so aside from a fluke shot to the fire moth, because that really did feel like a fluke, and some damage to the battle armor, we actually managed that fairly well. So our ability to fight heavies and assaults uh, is pretty good, actually, I think, all things considered. Okay, so yeah, the Fury Command Tank is 80 tons. It exceeds our limits. Okay, so we have three parts of a Marauder 5S. 
we have one part of a Marauder 3R, so we could assemble and then sell a Marauder. Oh, and there's an Orion. Which, we have one part of an Orion here. Oh, we can have a Bulldog? Oh, that's too bad. It's just a little too heavy. I don't think there was a single thing here that was underneath our weight maximum. Uh, are there any, like, super good... I want the piercing Gauss rifle. Oh! There it is. Does it use regular... ammunition? Okay, those are fun. I wish all the rotary AC2s were stacked up. Okay, so after that, I think we're going to take two parts of the Marauder and hope that they give us a third part so that we can assemble and sell a Marauder. They did not, but they did give us an Orion part, which should get us to the point where we can assemble and sell an Orion. That's good. Okay, and I think we're going to dis... Yes, thank you, Yang. Shut up, Darius. Okay, we are going to put a few mechs away. Um, the mist links, for instance, can go into the hold. The phantom can go into the hold. And the dervish can go into the hold. We never really enjoyed what the dervish did. The Lynx is far better than the Dervish is. Okay. 50, 40. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Now that we've done that, the Lynx has to be refit? Why? Oh, because... God, that's ridiculous. Because it took an actuator hit, so we have to, like turn some wrenches on an actuator and go from there. I don't even think upper arm actuators show up. Yeah, no, we only have hand and lower arm actuators, so this can only just be repaired. Like, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, let's refit the fire moth. So we are missing two ER medium lasers and a lower arm actuator. Speaking of lower arm actuators, there you go. Weapons, lasers, clan ER mediums. It will take two days to put this thing back together. That's not too bad at all. Hopefully the raid contract will actually come up after that. Let's check the battle armor though, because a couple of our battle armor suits got sort of mangled. And that was not ideal. Okay, what do we need? Hmm, the auto cannons and SRM2s, huh? Well, SRM2s we have. We have one of the auto cannons, and that leaves us with 0.2 tons. Which we could use on a single machine gun? Sure, you can have a machine gun. It's gonna be kind of a little, like, kit bashed version of this thing, but it'll be okay. The elementals, we might just scrap. Um, so much of their gear is gone now. So, like, the problem is that we're missing the Avengers and all of the clan small lasers and SRM2s that weigh less than everything else to make the elementals work. 
Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and let the elementals go. We have a second set of Achilles that we can transition the elemental pilot into. Or I guess it's a third suit of Achilles. And go from there. So let's scrap. Okay. That's hilarious. So we're going to refit it. We're going to repair everything. And strip all the equipment. It costs us 33,000 sea bills. Hopefully, we will find at the end of all this that we can put that in storage and then sell it for more than 33,000 sea bills. That would be ideal. Let's for fast forward a day. So, was that even a day? What's this? Wolfbane. Oh, this is... All right, so Wolfbane is like a random... Um, yeah, Wolf is a, like a random Kickstarter pilot and he comes with a mech, but the mech is terrible. It's a commando with like bad weaponry. Um, or, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so hopefully, yeah. Job is done, Commander. Okay, so we did successfully manage to fix everything before our next job. Let's, oh, wait, hold on. We got to go to the battle armor bay, and we've got to send these down into the hold. And now we're going to try to sell them for more than 33,000 sea bills. Hopefully it will work. Oh my gosh. They sell for 2,000 sea bills. That's it? What? All right. Well, that was highly disappointing. Let's hold on selling any of these that's so disappointing i can't believe that we spent thirty-three thousand sea bills to sell them for two grand i wish they wish i'd known that they sold for so little all right let's carry on and continue an assassinate mission sure we do those let's see what we got. oh this one's only three and a half skulls this should be a walk in the park, comparatively, except for the fact that our pilots are injured. Immortal no longer has the elementals. Here, have some Achilles armor. Scoundrel, I don't remember how many pilot hits these guys took. doesn't actually show me their damage. Like, that doesn't seem to tell me anything. Deploy. While this loads, if you'll give me just a second, I'm going to refresh my beverage. All right, I have returned, and it's not even finished loading yet, so. Well, I guess we'll see what's happening. Yep, 
There we go. Command interface initiated. Okay. We can see him, or at least we could for that brief moment. This place isn't so bad, right? However, we know a couple of vehicles. He was down here, right by the edge of the map. Hopefully, he doesn't try to flee. All right. Eliminate the ambushers. Hmm. I wonder if there's someone here to ambush us. Oh, the enemy is reserving too. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Oh, really? Waiting for my opening. Okay. Holding for the right opportunity. Ten four. What's going on? Okay, they have acted. Okay, what is this? I'm listening. One set of Achilles over here by itself. Not ideal. This is two machine guns, two small lasers, and four auto cannons. Sure, hop on. It. Yes, I am. That is another of our kit bashed elementals, it seems. Or sorry, battle armor. They are not elementals. Receiving you. Where is the Daddler? There it is. Oh, the adversary is still doing stuff. Okay, both of these ladies took two hits last time. That's less than ideal. Where's the wraith? Right there. Good to go. All right, and while we're here, can we sensor lock anybody? No does not appear that we can. Okay. What can I do for you? Okay. You can climb onto the kit fox. Uh-huh. We got to wait figure out what to do about that kit fox. I keep meaning to try and fix its heat management problems and then I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, what do we want to do? Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Okay, 60 tons and 60 tons. Let's find out what this thing is. I've got a sensor lock. It's a bulldog. What's a large laser and some missiles? Well, it's not very scary. Can we shoot it? No, there's this little hillock here in the way. What's up, boss? Could we go somewhere and get line of sight on this thing? No. Not right now. Okay, so we know that there's an ambush squad somewhere. Oh my. Okay, so supporting enemy forces, ambushers, support lance one and two. So there's four lances plus that guy. Plus the uh, the objective mech warrior. That's ready for orders. That's a lot. Not gonna lie, that's got a lock. This is gonna turn into a slog, is what this is gonna become. 
All right, we need to pick up high ground before the enemy gets the opportunity to take it away from us. Where are we going to fight from? They're probably all down here. So we should stay up here, I guess. Try to fight these guys yes, where they are. Hmm. The adversary is still moving. Well, I guess they must be. They have so many units. Roger. Okay. 79 and 74. 92 and 87. Alright, let's shoot at a bulldog. It's not the most damage we've ever done in a turn, but it's a start. Can we run down the front of the... I don't think we can. I think by going there, we're like trapping ourselves. Got it. Okay, I keep not seeing people over here, and that's good. So I really don't want them to be coming from both sides and trying to flank us. That would be extremely rude. I'm here. Run up, shoot the bulldog in the back. Affirmative. Okay, we got two more. What do we got? 60 and 65 ton mechs. Anything else? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Hopefully the bulldog is not one of those weird things that has additional armor in the rear. It is not. Roger. Okay, the enemy turn. Jeez. Okay, I think... Do we just drop the L the battle armor down, shoot this thing in the, I guess the side, a whole bunch, and see if we can kill it yeah. before it even acts? I think we do. I think this is like a prime case of when it's better not to swarm. Yeah, there we go. Confirmed. Just uh, let this thing have it. Dropped him. All right, cool. Uh, and let's see about the rest of the battle armor. Good to go. Initiative one. Orders. Initiative one. And initiative one. Okay. We're also going to do the same to the Fire Moth. Initiative one. Because we would really like... Waiting for orders. Oh, wow. We can actually see them from here. If we do this. Roger. Okay, and we, ooh, hold on. 75, 70, 70. A quick draw and an ax man. Okay, let's shoot this bulldog and hopefully we kill it. Ooh, that's some heat right there. Whoops. Okay, so it does have an open side. Waiting for orders. That's good. We like that. If we are careful, and if we kill this thing fast enough, we might be able to shoot these guys without them being able to shoot us back. Uh, yeah, let's kill this axe man. Acknowledge. 
at least the computer, yeah, the AI, the whatever, was kind enough to drop us someplace high. Like, we've got reasonable shots at a reasonable chance of managing this. I think. See, like this. Like, we might be able to open that axe man up before even it gets the chance to get too close to us. Holding off. 86, 81 and 86. Yeah, interesting that we have better numbers on the quick draw. We're going to continue to focus on the axe man, though. Okay. They've got oh. sensor lock on me. No, oh, that's suboptimal. <laughs> Good to go. I want to shoot this bulldog before it acts. Up hot. Because I want it to die. I'd really like for it to explode. Affirmative. Okay, there we go. Sweet. And then we can pull the wraith back up with relative ease. And it has eight evasion. Okay, well, the adversary is full of sensor lockers. That's not ideal. What do we have here? An avatar, huh? Two avatars. And then the axe man, huh? 79 and 74 on the quick draw. Sure, let's shoot the... Hmm, that's peculiar. Sure, let's shoot the quick draw. We'll get the Kentaro up here. Oh, you know what? It's better to shoot the axe man. Ah, because of that. <laughs> there we go. That one's gone. The dangers of XL engines. Okay, so it looks like these are the supporting forces and the ambushers. We still have not seen the support lances yet. We go here, we have yeah, much better shots on the quick draw. Okay. Confirmed. Fire. Okay, we're gonna have to Wow. Okay. Waiting for orders. They really want to wait for the battle armor to finish up. It's interesting that they're using sensor locks now. Considering there's only a few of them left. Oh, they hit the battle armor? Okay, that was one of the avatars. Do we drop one of the gnomes down to shoot a quick drop? We could shoot the quick draw, drop one of the gnomes down and well one of the there's only one gnome. Let's do it. Oh. Apparently if we go here, we can only see this avatar. That's not ideal. If we go here, we can see the quick draw, but oh, I'm surprised to see that it's outside the range. Yeah, look, there's the range marker for our Gauss rifles right in front of him. 
if we could deploy forward, it would actually be able to get him. But such is the way of things. Do we actually want to do this then? I don't think we do. I think we want to just get back on, which is a goofy way to spend a turn, but that's better than getting shot to death. That's a lot of LRM fire. Huh. I'm surprised to find that the Avatar has that much. 90 ton vehicle. Hello. That's big. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's... Acknowledge. Just put the Chaos Feather a little bit further away. So as to not get it shot. Oh, oh. Again with the battle armor. Come on. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Okay. Well, we found some of the other ones. At least our adversaries are not terribly good shots. I don't know what that was. There keep being more adversaries to act. Like they just keep showing up. Well, I'm glad that missed. What do we have over here? 75 tons and 80 tons. Ah! Light damage, Commander. So there's only two of them. Alright, well... Any more of them? At least one. Let's see. Whoa, what what is happening? Okay. So we've only got two adversaries that we're aware of over here. That's a lot of adversaries though. Please get on to yep. the fire moth. Okay, that takes care of you. I hear ya. Let's push to initiative one with the battle armor. Yes, Commander. Kind of wish we had different battle armor on the wraith. I'm halfway tempted to just take the wraith and fly over here and swarm our target mech warrior kill him that way and then attempt to retreat I guess actually you know what that's not an awful idea like just going and finding the bad guy swarming him to death with some battle armor and then making a quick evacuation rather than fighting our way through several lances full of stuff although to be fair we are already at least partially through a couple of those lances could just run down here and start laying into these guys that seems like such a bad idea that seems like a great way to lose the fire moth do we come find out what these are? 
Just so we know what's behind us and if there's anything else there. She's carrying battle armor that we don't actually want to risk anyway, so sure. What do we got? A Shiltron B. And then Orion with a rotary AC5. Okay, so some souped up version of the Orion. Thankfully, they don't appear to be coming up this way, which is how I would have done it. So let's go ahead and... I guess we can shoot... And that Shiltron is a lot of LRM tubes. This guy is just 20 to this guy's 60. All right, let's shoot the Shiltron. Take this. It would be very nice for the Shiltron to go away. But, oh man, does it have a lot of armor. Oof. Okay, what are we going to do? Seven evasion gives us reasonable shots on any of these guys. Probably keeps us from being shot by those guys. I don't think the Orion could get us. I'll turn that off. All right, let's keep working on the quick draw. We're going to have to What's definitely that? play the focus fire version of this game pretty heavily if we're going to make it through this. That is a terrible idea coming down there. No, don't do that. Why can't you get line of sight on anybody from back there? I wish you could. This is a, in a moment where Ace Pilot would be super nice. Does Yar have overwhelming aggression? I don't actually know. All right, well, let's get three evasion because that will at least give us one evasion if we get sensor locked. God, if we get sensor locked, that would be a terrible thing for the Kit Fox. Can we get up here? It does not look like we can get up. We could go try and shoot the Shiltron. Those numbers are not very good, though. What if we do do this? Will I regret this tremendously? Probably. But we're going to do it anyway. Oh, the Kit Fox has battle armor on it. Whoa, which battle armor is that? It's an Achilles suit. Hmm. All right, well, let's keep working on the quick draw. Fire on target. We really want one of them to be dying basically every round. No, that's not what I want. Hey there. Yeah, so what can I see here? I can only see one of the avatars from that space. What about here? Four, five, not two. Five evasion. That'll do. Got it. Run, don't shoot. We're only going to be able to shoot one of the heavy lasers this round. On Are you kidding me? That's Field ridiculous. Ordered. Yeah, that'll do. 
All right, let's try to get a bunch of shots into this thing. Oh, sweet. There we go. Good old ammo explosions. That's one way to do it. Um, all right, we're going to jump over here. Aye, aye. Probably turn off. On it. So I think we're heat neutral, even in this biome, if we jump and just use the large pulse laser. I've been sent a lot. That's kind of what I was afraid was going to happen, but I'm glad it's happening to the Lynx, which has heavier armor than, say, the Kit Fox. Yeah. Kentaro. The Kentaro cannot shoot either of these basically Kentaro. interchangeably, so we'll pick the one that's already been damaged. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, that just happened to the Kit Fox, too. Thankfully, the Kit Fox should be okay. And we can present a better target Here we go. by putting the Wolverine down there. So they have a Rhino, another Orion with the Rot... Oh, that's got a Light Gauss. Hmm. I thought that was the Rotary AC5 version, but I was wrong. Okay. We actually have better shots on this avatar than we do on this one? No, not quite. Alright, um, let's not overheat though. On it. Oh wow, I honestly did not really expect the streaks to fire, so didn't expect to generate all that heat. Um... Oh, well, that's not great. Looks like the adversary is about to make our life miserable. Uh, what are we going to do? So the Kit Fox has... Has Tartan, you, Commander? Who is like our best battle armor pilot. Whereas the Wraith... Currently has... Scoundrel, who is severely damaged. I would like to switch those ones up. I would like to like flip-flop them. I don't think I can do that readily. I think what I'm going to have to do is put one of the Achilles suits scoundrel back here hope that they don't get just totally obliterated here in a moment and put them back onto the kit fox when we're done and meanwhile we're gonna jump the other one from the kit fox to the wraith Let's sensor lock that avatar real quick. Okay, that's a real interesting decision, but I'm on board with you wasting your ammo that way. Is that the one that we had sensor locked? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so what we can do is jump onto the Wraith. Double time. Okay. And then we are done. There gets an angle on me. Oh, you're fine. Okay, so the plan now with the Wraith is to go find our target Davian Mech Warrior and see if we can execute him with 
the assistance of some battle armor before Ready for orders. Uh, we find ourselves totally stuck in with all of these people. And then maybe we can just beat a hasty retreat. I still can't get them with the, the gauss slugs. God, it's like right here. It's like they know. All right, fine. Jump back on to... <laughs> All right, that's not what I wanted to have happen, but would really have preferred actually getting to take some shots. Okay, yeah, that's that Shiltron. Boy, that thing's got a lot of missile tubes in it. Okay, well, at least they're spreading their fire around. Okay, that's the target mech warrior, I believe. So we know he has LRMs. We know he's got some kind of laser. All right, the Lynx is... It's taking minimal damage. Uh, it's taking more damage than I would like, but... It'll be all right. A Mantufel. Um, Suboptimal. Okay, can they stop shooting the con stop shooting the Kentaro by accident? Allow who, huh? Oh, and a new seventy-five ton vehicle with an AOE PPC. That's... Oh, that's not good. Um, well, I guess that's not as bad as it could be. But she's unsteadied now. Uh, definitely need you to move to initiative one. Waiting for orders. You as well. Scoundrel, I need you to mount up the Kit Fox before you die. And then while we're here, sensor lock something. Ah, uh, let's sensor lock the avatar. Sensors locked on. That way we have better shots on it going forward. Commander. Immortal, oof, just chill out. Initiative one. The chaos feather. I'm receiving you. Let's. Ooh, what do we do here? I guess we could down, run down here, shoot the Orion in the back or something, and then swarm it with some battle armor. Let's make that decision. Yes, Commander. Later. Even you. Okay, here we go. Now we're into like the meat of the lineup. 88%. Wow, it's funny that we have better shots on the one with two evasion than the one with none evasion, but all right. We can just shoot the avatar. Let's precise strike the avatar. I don't actually care about trying to salvage them, so... Center torso... We could actually burn through the center torso on this thing. But we're much better... Sure, let's do it. Let's just aim center mass.
What did we hit? Oh, uh, center, but then not center. Oh well. Commander? Six evasion. Shoot the these things. Acknowledged. Gain a little bit more heat here, but we really need these avatars to go down. Okay, it looks like we're through to structure. Oh, open center torso. That's what we were trying to get on this one. Commander. Ugh, I need them to move. Could run this way, but that gets us fire, which is suboptimal. Does it get us fire? No, it doesn't. Um, but we're going to hold on using Yard for now. I want one of these two to move so that we can then get the Kit Fox back up on this ridge. I know it's holding battle armor, but it's like damaged battle armor. <laughs> okay, and we can't run with the Lynx because it is unsteadied. Rhino man too full. What's the Lao Hu? A binary PPC. Ugh. That's a big gun. Let's not overheat super bad here. Okay, so we shot it in the center torso, but nothing got damaged. Go. However, now, oh, we still can't, hmm, Double time. Let's go. all right, well, let's get the kit box up here. Confirmed. Continue to work on the avatars. Oh, that's nice. That's so much nicer than getting hit by all those lasers. What was that? A heavy laser carrier. That's an actual thing. Standing by. Jeez. Okay. Um, Copy that. So the Davian Mech Warrior still isn't even visible. But what else do we have here? A Challenger 11. CCV, close combat vehicle? I don't know. It's got three very long range weapons. I doubt that's what it actually means. But let's shoot the avatars. Overheating. Why are you alerting me to overheating? We're heat neutral. Um, okay. Having the cougar get accident get accidentally narked there is not ideal. <laughs> Kintaro. Six evasion. Got to keep our evasion up. Need to shoot stuff. All right, full speed. Okay. I think we need to keep shooting the avatar. Um, hopefully we can tag something in the middle of this that would actually be really nice. So we're going to put a lot of missiles into it. Um, what happens if I precise strike you? Oh, those numbers are much nicer. Those are really good. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Nice. Destroyed. 
Okay. That was sweet. And we can just jump up here. And shoot this thing with just the large pulse. We need to sink a little bit of heat. Okay, and so the adversary reserves a bunch. Still gonna take shots at the fire moth. That's fine. Like, totally fine. Okay, that's not so bad. I mean, the Shiltron still has to go away. That's still a problem that that's in our backfield like that. Enemy flanking. But the fact that they're just... Reporting light damage. Yeah, the fact that it's light damage is actually pretty useful for us. All right. I'm on Blinks. the heavy fire. If the Lynx does not get, like, tripped into unsteadiness... That would be very nice, because we do need it to move a little bit faster than it was. Three evasion is not enough. Okay, that's not bad. Trying to shoot the Wraith is like... Oh! Are you... They weren't even aiming for the Lynx. <sighs> well... Rip. That sucks. Yeah, yeah F. No kidding. F's in chat for the links. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to. Yeah, because that's the Kit Fox's internal structure that has taken damage, because they were trying to shoot the Daddler and missed. Directly into our friends. Okay, hold on. Gear assault. Let's try to kill this Orion real right, fast. We're going to use a 20 ton mech and try and take out a 75 ton mech. XL engines. That's pretty good. I can't... Dynamo's not dead. That's just the scratched mech. Commander. Okay. Um, we are going to... Drop off. Shoot this dude in the back a bunch. Affirmative. Here we go. Hey, gyro crit. All kinds of other fun stuff. I would really like for that guy to die. Okay, maybe the gnomes will actually be useful this time. Except no, because apparently, no matter where they go... Oh, wait. <laughs> we can get terrible shots on this Brutus. Well, not terrible, but... Why is it that the gnomes are so bad? Why are the gnomes so bad? And why is it so hard to pick... There we go. To put them back onto the Daddler. And then Tartan is on our, like, surgical strike machine mission. 
I'll go ahead and brace. My mech. Commander? Yeah, same. Go ahead and brace. Scoundrel. Uh, yeah, you can go to the bottom of the initiative order. It is probably a terrible idea, but... Can we... I think... If we don't kill this Orion, it's going to turn around and murder this Battle Armors. And the Shiltron might do it anyway. I copy. But I really want this guy to go down. <laughs> Just like that. Enemy down. Battle armor, surprisingly good. Does lots of damage. What do you need? I'm here. All right, and we're gonna wait. Yes, Commander. I can't believe we lost the ch the links. Ten four. All right, let's shoot this avatar even Ten more. Four. Like, seriously, this thing got t picked open because of shots on the Dadler that missed. I'm so mad. Okay. We're going to stay on the ledge, ridge, whatever. And continue to work on stuff. Oh, sweet. Probably only going to be able to shoot one of the lasers. We can't see the Lao Hu. Okay. Uh, uh, sure, let's take a shot. All right. Well, we'll go from there. And it was at this time he realized he fucked up and also ran out of disk space. Uh, apologies, the rest of this mission does not appear within this VOD. Sorry.